What's up, everybody? Boom, 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 boom. How is everybody feeling today? Oh, I feel good. You feel good? Yeah, I feel great. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Why do you feel you so guys? good? <laughs> I don't know. It's just been a great day, you know? It's been a great Somet- day. You know, sometimes when I just like wake up and had Sundubu last night, mm. got to see Rick. Something about that soul food makes you feel good when you wake up. You know what I mean? Yeah. You ever feel like when you see somebody, like the way they're acting, you're like, you can imagine them when they were like kids. Yeah, of course. Yeah, like For I feel sure. like Steppy, like fuck? she'd be a, like a fun, goofy Chicken little. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, put, I can't really pinpoint what kind of kid you oh, were. You were. I, I had no know. childhood, man. Really? Yeah. I just can't, can you picture Rick I as a imagine, kid? I imagine him for some reason at home, like eating like a sugu or something, yeah. or like a kimchi jjigae really well. But his mom or dad being a little bit like strict, yeah, strict about yeah. it. Even the way you're eating, yeah. that's the vibe. That <laughs> I get. But then after you go, you know, you go into your room and you're like, <laughs> like doing something mischievous. Were you a mischievous kid? Yeah, my mom always said I got too much. What was one of the worst things that you've done as a child? Well, the thing that my mom always brings up is like how if I went to like Sizzlers or like any place where they're like booths, mm-hmm. that I would like jump like over oh, the booths shit. like everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and um, she was so embarrassed apparently. Right. And she remembers like one time this like family, this like white family, like turned to her and was like, "Can you please like settle your kid down?" Oh shit! And she was so embarrassed by it. But like that's what she always reminds Did me. Did you guys of. ever do this? Go into the the McDonald's uh, playground area. Yeah. Get a tray and slide down the slide with the tray. Oh, what? And go what crazy. That sounds, yo, that's a that great idea. Yeah, really we fun. used to do that all the time. We used to, I mean, that's some LA bad kid shit. We just sat on the tray <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then slid down on the tray. You fast, go it's fast. Crazy faster. fast. Because yeah. it's plastic. Wow. Cla- it's dangerous plastic plastic. as fuck. Yeah, you go, it's dangerous. Wow. Shit. You ever we shit in to- a uh, ball pen? The ball now, pit? You know, that one I missed. We're not yeah. doing the intro, by the way. We already started. Alex, it's cool. All right. Yo. Oh, holy shit. Yeah. We're not doing the intro. I just wanted to switch oh, it up. Oh, it's right right it's more casual. You just jump into a Hell casual yeah. conversation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like, I would say I saw a picture of Steffi when she was a kid. Super cute. Looks just like her right now. But her, she had a best friend who was uh, Lucy. <laughs> Lucy O'Ball mm-hmm. for Halloween. And she was such a good friend that she was Ethel. <laughs> <laughs> what? And I was like, no one Come on. would be Ethel usually. But I was yeah. like, you're a good friend. Took a vaccine. Wait, is it that bad? I no, mean- because I just feel like if you're a kid, like, yeah. first of all, not many kids will be into Lucy. Yeah. But like Already. being Ethel, like who wants to be Ethel? No one wants to be Fife. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. I, I feel like you need an Ethel for every Lucy. You gotta have like a Robin to a Batman. You're just a good friend. You know what I mean. I love. No, but I, I didn't I, mind. You I love, didn't I love, care. I love Lucy. Come on. Did you grow up on I Love Lucy? Ricardo, bro. I love that shit like crazy. It's such a good show. I mean, Lucy really, you know, killed it, and she she really is an inspirational person. My mom different. reminds me of Lucy, and mm. she, she's like a huge Lucy O'Ball fan. Oh, she is too. Yeah, I feel like her mannerisms and stuff is so Lucy. right, she right, right. Get into some. Crazy I kind of, I kind of see that. Yeah, just yeah. like the yeah, like yeah, neurotic yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, super yeah. neurotic. Yeah. And like, I just grew up on, I loving Lucy because my mom loved Lucy. And oh. I go into every year, I go into these rabbit holes where I look up Lucille Ball interviews. Mm. Yeah. Because like, I think she's so iconic in the TV show. You kind of wonder like, what's what she like? Yeah. It, and then she's so like, has a raspy voice. Yeah. You know what she's I mean? Strong. Did you see the, uh, uh, re- not the remake, but the movie with Nicole yeah. Kidman? I yeah. liked it. Killed it. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was really good. You Killed know who reminds it. me of Lucille Ball? Is Nora Aquafina. Mm, oh, I can see that. When I seen her, that. when I'm on the show of, uh, you know, the uh, Nora from Queens on Comedy Central, and I see her like doing her scenes. Yeah, she's a beast. She moves around For like sure. like Lucille Ball. Like, yeah, yeah, putting yeah, on yeah. crazy wigs and characters. <laughs> like, is she inspired by her? Did she grow up watching her? Probably. I mean, a lot of people were, but I don't know if she, if that's like a direct influence. But she does remind me of her, like on, on set. And I was right. like getting chills. I was like, oh shit, like. <laughs> It's a beast, you know. Like, that show was black and white, right? Back in the day. Yeah. yeah. They had a they had a color version of it too. Oh, what? Like afterwards. It wasn't as popular it wasn't as like as the original popular. I Love Lucy. Yeah. But, but damn, her auto I mean her biography or is it an autobiography? I don't know what Nicole. Did she write it herself? Oh, no, oh no, yeah, no, yeah. it's not auto. I guess gotcha. it's a uh, you know, biopic. A, re- a bio- yeah, yeah. biopic. It's like they always make these like people seem so depressed. You see mm. this other side of their life and they're just like so fucked. You right, know? right. People and were, unhappy. People were really mad about uh, Nicole Kidman playing her, but I thought she did good. Yeah, she killed What'd it. you think? Well, no, before it came out, I was pissed because I was like, there's no way Nicole mm-hmm. can do that. But when I watched it, I was like, 
you know what she fucking killed it like i i didn't keep thinking about nicole i think it's it's bad when like a really famous person plays someone like that's that famous and like it, yeah. you can't get out like Tom you can't Hank, see beyond the face did you watch you guys watched elvis the, the movie? i did yeah. I, I don't want to spoil it i mean it's it's in the perspective it's narrated by tom hanks who plays the manager oh. of elvis and he has like this european accent and to be honest that was like the worst Tom Hanks performance I in my opinion. I heard. Not I heard. Me. You liked I'd, it? I, well, if you, you said get once over, you get over that accent. You get over him being Tom Hanks because he plays the manager of Elvis. I love the movie. I, I just yeah, thought, yeah. I actually thought Tom Hanks was the worst part of the movie, which was no. like kind of crazy like wow. to say that, right? That's crazy. No, I got over it. And then, and then I started thinking, wow, he's such a great actor. I've never seen Tom Hanks do like a character, caricature of somebody. You know? What do you mean? Forrest Gump. I guess, but like this guy was like dressed in like a <laughs> like, like a most like iconic <laughs> overweight suit yeah, yeah, and like yeah, yeah. that type of like doing an accent that's like completely not. His. I you know what? It was so, good. so there's a scene in the movie, and it's not a spoiler because it's like a known thing too. But apparently, his manager was so brilliant that they printed "I hate Elvis" merchandise for yeah. the haters, yeah. and then his reasoning was like. Yo, haters are gonna hate us anyways. Might yeah. as well make money off of them. Yeah. Watch the money pile up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Bro, that was, a, that was like dope. That's so they crazy. would actually sell I Hate Elvis merch to people who didn't fuck with Elvis. Wow. And still and, make and money, made off, money of off of them. So, That's crazy. so are you cool with some I Hate Dumbfounded? <laughs> yeah. Would you be I'm okay sitting with on that? boxes of Parker merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> the name that never took this off. Is, this is parked right there. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have I gave out tons of Parker stickers too that never really stuck. I I feel like I should have kind of like stuck with like I'm gonna do the name change and yeah. just like not folded. Uh, you know? What do you think? You think Parker would have taken off? The reason I don't like Parker and I didn't know you back then or anything is that mm. it feels as if you're trying to take away like the Koreanness of you. Right. And mm. that's what I don't like. And but in I Korean, don't know if that's true. It sounds like fun. Like like turning <laughs> Park into like a <laughs> white name, is that what you're saying? Like turning Park almost into like, like a, white a white name? Yeah, name. yeah. You try to gentrify I don't the name. Love that. Right? Yeah. yeah. But I mean, you know, it's cool. You, I'm not you got hip a little to switch. It. But yeah, dumbfounded. Come on, dumbfounded's the best. You know, what I'm you saying? can play so so off. A it's lot. just hard as I get older and older. It just hits a little bit. Oh, right. really? Yeah, I know what you mean. It's that three syllable joint. <laughs> you know what I mean? A three syllable it's long. Name. It's <laughs> fucking long, and then people keep fucking up the goddamn spelling <laughs> of my name. Every, they don't do the D A D because when you put dumbfound dead on in like you know typing thing, mm -hmm. it auto corrects all the time. Does it for you too? <laughs> For me, yeah, it does. no, because <laughs> lyrics, man. You know the oh, CK right. is the same yeah. shit. That's how we have the same issue. Damn, Google, fuck, man. Uh, oh man, it would be nice if Webster would be kind enough yeah. to change the spelling of dumbfounded for good to <laughs> my spelling for sure. God damn it. It's a magnificent jacket you got over there, bro. It's Bodie. <laughs> it's in the same. Dumbfounded is in the same space as God stopped. Gob stopped. What? Wait, wait, what do you wait, mean? wait, wait, wait. Like, dumbfounded, that word sounds yeah. like someone that era? uses that. Yeah, that same era as gobstop. What is gobstop? <laughs> it's gobstop. I know gobstop. Stopper, yeah. Yeah. Like, gobstop, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wait, use it, use it in a sentence. Oh, wow. I was gobstopped by <laughs> that outfit. It Gob didn't fit the. Is that really a word? I know, like, at the everlasting gobstopper. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alex, uh, is, Alex is gobstop a word? Sounds but like a sex move. Kind of Gobstopping is a word. It's a gobstopping and a phrase, a gobstopper of showing occasionally in various internet. What, what the fuck? I still don't even understand the it's definition. Kind of, it's like saying dumbfounded. Okay. Right. I, also, I see what you said. Yeah, you yeah. Say you know what I also learned today? Uh, I mean, not today, but like watching the J-Lo documentary. Yeah. Oh, there's a J-Lo documentary? Dad, <laughs> Damn, I, mean, I like, I, I'm a fan of like musician documentaries. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. it just like motivates me. Like, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. But apparently, you know what? Well, you know when she wore that green dress? <laughs> yeah, Versace? Yeah. That was the reason Google Images was created. What? What? Because so many people were looking up like information or, like, or just pictures of that dress on yeah. Google. And Google image search didn't exist at that time. Wow. So because of that, they created Google image search because <laughs> of J-Lo and that dress. Isn't that iconic? That's, That's crazy. crazy. She also created like the idea of like booty. You know, like mm, that was the idea of the booty. Idea what do you mean? Booty. Like, like she, a booty. I don't think booty was such a thing. Yes, until, it was. No, like she Even before really her, brought... there was fucking, um, Mary you know. Magdalene. 
Huh? Who? No, no, no. For the no, but um, you know, <laughs> I like big butts and I cannot. Yeah, lie, yeah. You know what I mean? Sir like, Mix a Lot. Yeah, Sir Mix a Lot. There was For a sure. song. No, she made it hot though. Like really. I mean, okay, I, I don't want to say that because that takes away from, I think, like, that's like a cultural appropriation from, I think, black the black community. I don't want to say that. Mm. That's not called. But, yeah. <laughs> but no, because like they say, like, Kim Kardashian did, like, young people think it's Kim Kardashian that brought booty back or yeah. whatever. Or maybe Justin Timberlake. Right, but right. no, it was actually her. She there really- are trends in, like, Eastern culture and Western culture. Like, if you go to, like, Korea, ass isn't, like, a desired thing. Mm. No one's like, oh, I'm looking for a girl with a yeah, big yeah. ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> what do you think the next thing's gonna be? Because like ass is kind of, and then it became like kind of lips. I felt like became a thing. Yeah. Like what's the next body? Or is it about maybe it's the brain? What if it was just like? No, like, that's not gonna happen. You can't look at somebody's like brain anyways. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, you gotta yeah. like. J Lo insured her butt, right? That, that was the first like mm. iconic insurance, like a million dollars. Oh, look at this! Pull this up, Alex. What do you got? The Muscles. Alex. Muscles look uh, cooler. My- South Korean women reshape idea of beauty. I did notice <sighs> everyone in fucking Korea is super fit now. That's annoying. Yeah. As fuck. You That's know what it is annoying. too? It's because there's a lot of motherfuckers out there that have like whack ass personalities too. Mm. So like that's the one thing they can control is like let me get fit. That's true. You know what I mean? Honestly, I don't like I don't like that look of you know I I watched that one island. What is that Korean show where they're all on an island? Oh, uh, what's that called again? And they switch partners and stuff. What was that fucking called? I watched the whole thing. Uh, Did you? uh, Love Island? No, no, no. no. Someone in the chat will put it. Oh, Singles Inferno. There you go. Inferno. Singles Inferno. Singles Inferno. I don't like the look of like the pretty face and then the really like with makeup on it and then it's like muscle like is like that's a, weird... a good example of a singles inferno when you watch that it's like literally 95 like uh, every person on that show has a whack personality and yeah. it's like you went through like a thousand people in casting to narrow it down you to narrow like it down these to this people <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. it was like i was like come on fam like well, what, what character do you want on there I'm just saying, like a mixed bag, you know. But it's mm-hmm. like every time they asked about someone's person, oh, like what your type is, it was something like a physical, physical trait. Thing. Yeah, that yeah. was it. It was like there was nothing else. I There's was like, no depth to the character. But huh? is that a care? Is that like a cultural thing in Korea where it's like that's more important? Is your because I've heard Korea, this about Korea, Korea could get very shallow. Yeah, I heard you it's can't get a job. I, I heard you can't get a job if you're like overweight. It's like hard. Like it, that's part of like the process of them. You know, I, I don't know if that's true or not, but like I heard, like it's hard for you to get a job unless, like, if you're not working on your body and like keeping it in shape, like how could you be like right. working on anything else? Oh, yeah. that interesting. type of energy. That's what they're looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I would, like, I would have you liked... can't even maintain your body. How are you going to maintain the assignment? <laughs> I would have liked to, them to throw in like a like a wild card into Singles Inferno. <laughs> yeah. You know, since so like, Bobby Lee walks in, just like, what's good, ladies? Yes. You know? probably win because of the character, though. Yeah, you know Bobby I mean? would kill that shit. I, I, I mean, it's just, I, I, I just wanted more of a variety. Yeah, I you know? agree with yeah. that. Yeah. Nah, for but sure. By the way, um, I was talking about this earlier, man. Instagram is insane. Because I know it's based on your algorithm, but there's no way I'm 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 that horny. <laughs> there's no way I am that horny. Bro, my explore page is disgusting. It's disgusting. What is going on? I've mm. seen yours accidentally. That's not me. And but it's, that's not- it's literally. I, I'm I being framed by the algorithm. No, for I don't real. Think so. I am being framed by the algorithm. There's no way I am that horny. My whole explore page is just Asian girls in bikinis doing the money don't jiggle jiggle dance. It's like <laughs> what the fuck's going on right now, B? Uh, there, I don't know. There's I something mean, sus going on. Maybe with, you are yeah. that horny. Have you thought about it? No. no are you no. That horny? It's like, Have we're you not really searching. considered it? Oh, I don't know, man. Even I haven't the- thought about it because I'm too busy going through the Explorer page. <laughs> <laughs> This shit yeah. is wild it's right crazy. now. Isn't Instagram fucking wild, bro? It's crazy. It I is. I don't know. Mine's not like that. Let's see I yours. Got horny shit what you got on yours? Yeah, let's go to your explore page right Wait, now. Wait, no. If you guys are gonna, it's I'm singles gonna do inferno it, you dudes. Guys have to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> it's all single inferno dudes. Alex, can I see your explore page? I'm actually curious about Alex's. <laughs> it's all different Korean flags. <laughs> <laughs> it's like North Korean propaganda okay, art. Okay, this is mine. Let's see what it's you got. Like in let's lots see. of girls. Pass it over here. Oh, yours like there's it's like yours is respectable. What there's is some it? hot girls on here too, though. Yeah, because I love hot girls. I like their pictures, and I also there's a lot of hair stuff too. Yeah, because I've been looking for hair inspiration, art. I have furniture because that's what I've been looking for. Mm-hmm. Makeup. 
Okay, boring. And then I have... <laughs> I'm, kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, Can't so even... yours is any better? No, no, no. Mine's <laughs> ratchet right now. I honestly... Yours is... You know what I... One time I, I remember, like, you had a bunch of girls, like, squatting and, like, work... Like, there were, like, those muscular girls, like, girls that, like, work out. Well, I'm also, I think it's also because I'm doing a lot of fitness stuff. Yeah. No, but why is it women? <laughs> <laughs> because your inspiration. Because what I lift is women's weight. That's yeah. what I lift. <laughs> Ooh, got it. They em. know it. No, um, yeah, they're switching it up though. The algorithms all over the place. I, I, I think I, I honestly think they're letting stuff slide. That's a more risque on Instagram. I see nipples on it all the time, bro. The what? I see little nip slips all the time. But on I Instagram. mean, like I could have sworn they never had like that risque content on mm. there. Like there's stuff on there that like I'm like, Finally. why isn't this person blocked? Or, right. Or, I mean, or like I mean. Not that they should be, yeah. but they used to do that. Yeah, yeah. They used to like. It's so weird because the community guidelines could be super strict for some stuff, and then other stuff is super lax. You know what I mean? Right. You just show all of it. Who cares? You know? If yeah. there's porn, like I mean, I guess the thing is like little kids, like, kids are watching yeah. it, but kids can watch other shit too. Like they should just have like a limit to maybe the age for Instagram. I think they're they're, they're pushing towards more. Um, video content on yeah. instagram i read that yeah. i heard that they're trying to do members too kind of like only fans where yeah. you could like uh oh, really? subscribe on instagram oh you see i hate all these I, I dude, we like have way that. too many subscriptions going know. on have you ever subscribed to an only I, i've never i no. have i'm not gonna lie you have just but support. i didn't subscribe i just like i saw that this like hot girl had it only fans yeah and i was like okay i paid like 15 uh. 20 dollars whatever mm -hmm. i saw that they were posting the same shit on their Instagram, which had me fucking pissed. Yeah. And I yeah. just canceled it. You got gypped. So I got gypped. For, yeah. I, I, so I, I didn't like renew it every month. Yeah. But like I bought it for a month just to look at it. Yeah. And then I was like fucking pissed. And then I just canceled the subscription. Oh my gosh. Dude. I would do it to support the homies if like there were you know yeah but i don't know actually any like friends support like, the homies like rick's like yo <laughs> support <laughs> <laughs> yeah i would be like i got Help rick out, as my Steph. only only <laughs> <laughs> Help me out. Yeah, everyone's I, just going on reddit i know everyone's just like reposting on reddit which i think is fucked up and like i i've seen like my guy friends go what do you mean there. what do you mean <laughs> that's what you guys are all doing yeah, i don't know why my fans became like this right now wait wait wait, wait, wait oh. what are you what are you talking about no, I, don't do that yeah no that's fucked up <clears throat> um <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> No, that sound believable. I told you I that subscribed to OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. I actually paid the subscription mm -hmm. fee. Yeah, yeah I saw you. Did you see guys see the videos of like the church getting robbed? Did you see that church yeah, getting dude, robbed? Dude. Was that it, you? It, it, oh, it, that's what it I did. Was. Remind me of the story of Rick robbing the church for the drum set. <laughs> yeah. But they there's a video live stream of this like sermon yeah. and these robbers come and jack him alive on the whole fucking during the, the congregation, wow. dude. During the congregation, like that dude that had bag, like a, Did you ever take the money from like the donation bag? You know the one that passes. I'm not gonna lie. When I was a kid, I think I did take like a dollar. I'll admit that. Yeah, I think really? I did. I think wow. I took like a dollar or something. Oh, actually, no, no, no. That's not what it is. I just remember right now. I didn't. Yeah. It wasn't that. So I took a dollar. What I did week. was I pretended like I put in. The dollar. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah, what it yeah. was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, no, there's no way I took a fucking. Oh. I just thought in my head what it was. It was like I was pretend. I pretended I. Yo, I donated. No. I hated that offering plate when it came around. Cause then you'd have that one dude in the pew that looks to see if you put in money. <laughs> he's like at the end, oh, he's really? like this. Yeah, man, like mind your own goddamn business. Okay, one. Okay, one time mm -hmm. I put in my whole wallet in there because I didn't have money and I was too embarrassed. So wait, there was no what? money. <laughs> Would you wait, panic wait, or what? No, wait. and then at the end I said, "Oh my god, I forgot my wallet in there." And then I yeah. grabbed my wallet with a few extra dollars. It was a, a, a Pinocchio. No, no, put Pachinko. No. What the oh, fuck? so you're saying so to, to, to look like you just put something in there? Yeah, I got really nervous and I didn't have money. You put my your mom wallet. Forgot, in so there? I put my whole wallet in there. <laughs> That's confusing as hell. Yeah, what the Pin fuck? What is that dog from Sanrio? I know what you're talking about Pachinko. Pachaco. Pachaco. That was it. Pachinko. Pachaco. Pachaco. San, that was a that was a pretty popular one. Come on, Pachaco. Like, uh, Bats Maru. Bats Maru. I was more yeah. of a. Uh, You're a Bats You look like a Bats Maru. I do. Of you actually kind of look, like, look a like a Bats Maru right now. You look like yeah. a Karopi. Come on, dude. Oh, like Karopi. 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 Karopi got the big face, bro. Rec, that's Rec. Yeah. No? I'm more. Oh, yeah, Rec is Rec is Karopi. Yeah, exactly. You know Mashimaro. The uh, white no, one. Oh, you know. I think I think it's marshmallow, but marshmallow is like the big white fluffy one with a cigarette on it. Oh, I don't remember that. Oh, he was gangster. Do you remember the two angel kids? 
Like the oh, two, yeah, it the was the girl and the guy. I think no. they're brother and sister. The bro- but yeah, then yeah, yeah. it's kind of ancestral looking, right? The way they what? were. Like, <laughs> wait, wait. I, I didn't take it that way at all. Because you, you can't tell if they were like, sometimes they'd be really close to each other. And they're mm. like, oh, but yeah, it's but weird. Mm. <laughs> Anything else? How you guys been? This I mean, I haven't checked in with you guys. See, I wanted to talk about a situation that's yeah. going on in my house right now. What's going on? Oh. Um, You know, we have a couple of pets. We have a dog and two cats. What? Yeah, we have a, uh, oh, by the way, rest in peace to Unji. That's my dog in Virginia passed away. Family oh, dog? I'm Family sorry. dog. Damn. Family dog. And it was like, that was like the cornerstone for like my parents. You know what I mean? Because, you know, it's the dog is unconditional love. You come back home. It's always there. Mm. My dad was feeding it Korean food like a fucking <gasps> child, you know, ever since a young age, just like uh, giving it kalbi pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, a little kimchi jjigae bowl. cut up or what? Yeah, cut up. It, it, it cut, she literally, every time I visited home, she would just like double in size. And yeah. It's just waddling. Mm. I mean, it's living a good life. You know what I mean? It was a very happy dog. And uh, it's turned into a full Korean ajumma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I come back home, he's like, she bet what? He's like, hey, you came up? <laughs> but uh, apparently, it just like let out one sigh, like a final <gasps> breath. And then just passed away, oh. dude. But anyway, so... Um, First of all, you scared me because you can't just name your dog like someone you went to church with. <laughs> yeah, NG. Rest in peace, yeah, NG. It's like, <laughs> what happened, dude? Yeah, seriously. Is someone like, you grew yeah, up yeah, with? Yeah, yeah. yeah you're you know? right. So over here, we took the dog to the dog park um, somewhere in Silver Lake, I think. Came back. I've never heard of this bug before. Mm. Have you ever heard of, and I, I say this carefully because it sounds like a racial slur, mm. chiggers? Oh. Have you that? heard yeah. of, it's like the worst, it's like two, that sounds it's like terrible. two races. But what, what, what is that? It's like a mite. These are bugs right here? They're little mites, mm. yeah. So I guess during the summertime. Oh, this is gross, bro. Yo, it's, 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 it's like a, a, a tiny mite it looks like a speck like a pepper black pepper is speck. it dangerous or is it you just get bug no bites? no it's bug bites super like that. inconvenient okay, right okay, yeah but how and, do you know it's that not and not bed bugs uh i don't know we, we don't have bed bugs but so there were these small mites mm. that we picked up from the park mm. and i was fine you know i yeah, think because i have malaria like my my blood they don't want it <laughs> but donna got bit up Aww. Oh, yeah, it looked bad, you know? She was just, like, super uncomfortable. So how'd yeah, you clean that's... that up? How do you... That's so annoying when there's little, like... Well, see, they don't lay eggs. They don't They don't actually multiply in the house. Oh. So you just have it's to not wait like it bed out. bugs. No, 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 Damn, no. bed bugs are the worst. Oh, do you, have you ever had bed bugs? I, 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 dude, I used to live in the studio apartment. Remember the Asbury? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I lived in this, like, really run-down apartment back in the day, uh, and I had a terrible case of bed bugs. Ugh. Oh, my God. Oh, and no. it was, like, driving me nuts. To the point I kept where you're trying down and you could feel it? I Ugh. tried Ugh. everything to get rid of it. I, at, at, I just had to throw the whole apartment away. <laughs> yeah. That's, like, when you get bed bugs, you just got to throw the fucking apartment Jeez. away. There's nothing. It's it's crazy. Infested. Yeah. It yeah. was insane. And I used to, like, I used to pull, like, pull, uh, bring girls over. Uh-huh. They used to get bug, bed bug bites in the morning. And it was uh, like, yo, you didn't tell them beforehand? It's well, like, yeah, because I want to get laid. Wait, wait, yeah. <laughs> what would he FTA? say? Yeah, I'm going to be like, yo, I want to smash, but I got bed bugs. <laughs> Yeah, are you still yeah. down or what? Yes, dude, you should definitely oh say that. It God. should be on your STD card, basically. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, have yeah. bed bugs, like, bro, <laughs> that should be on top. Like, no. Damn. I, yeah, you just... Go to the fucking hotel. There's no way she's going to come to the yeah, house. Yeah, you have to go somewhere else. That is crazy. All right, well, whatever. I'm sorry, I'm guys. Pissed. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> you just said a bub, huh? That's nuts, man. Yeah. But nah, that was a situation <laughs> that we've been kind of handling right now. Because you get, when when you have like little uh, itch, like, mm. you know, little bites like that, any little thing like triggers it. Because you think something's crawling yeah, on you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, like a little piece of hair, you know, yeah. when your hair goes and it kind of touches your ear, you think there's a bug there. So we're just all tripping out. Going, it's like phantom experiencing. Exactly. The af- yeah, yeah. What's I, your least favorite bug? Oh, I hate mosquitoes. And that's what's been uh, biting me. Mosquitoes, recently. top three annoying for sure. Mosquitoes, Korean mosquitoes, dude. You know yeah. the Korean tiger mosquitoes? Their no. flight pattern is so, it's it's crazy. How about cockroaches? Wait, cockroaches? Uh, cockroaches? Why did I pronounce that? I don't that? know. Does that sound weird? <laughs> wait, wait. I, wait, was that a Sanrio you character? It's cockroach, but you said oh. cockroach. Cockroach. It's, wait, <laughs> it's not cockroach? It's, wait, is it cockroach? I think it's cockroach. Cockroach. 
You were thinking of Papa Roach. But I swear people say cockroaches. You were thinking of Papa Roach. Oh. You're right. Yeah. Kakarochi. Kaka- I, I'm like, am I speaking Japanese? Kakarochi. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, here's the thing. I, so even no, in that same apartment, I had a huge roach problem. <laughs> Jesus, yo, <laughs> yeah. it's not the apartment, Ew. bro. No, no, no. You it's your lifestyle. Me you had, no, it's an old apartment. It's a super. Remember that apartment? Yeah, it's yeah, like a, yeah, it was yeah. like a crack house. Like, nah, for sure. But when you go into the bathroom or the kitchen, you turn on the light. Everywhere Wait, scattering. Are you just, serious? Yeah, Dumb. Is this the same place you told me you had maggots coming out of the fucking floor, like no. off the carpet? <laughs> that was a different That's place, a different <laughs> bro. That no, no, is no, no, a no, new no. problem. No, that it was probably that bu- same spot. It was probably. I, I didn't. I don't think I ever mentioned maggots. Bro, <laughs> bro there, you told me. Remember that, that movie Joe's maggots. apartment? Remember no. that movie Joe's apartment with the roaches? No. Look it up. This is a '90s movie. You guys don't remember Joe's apartment? <laughs> no, man. It Sounds was like an a MTV good. movie that came out a while ago. You Who's don't in it? Joe's apartment. This Who's is a classic. This uh, click on it. It's that uh, dude yeah, from the uh, Dancing Cockroaches. Yeah, Cockroach. Oh wow. Oh gonna... yeah. Y'all don't remember kinda, this shit? Remember yeah, he just had like a huge like. Yeah, it's a classic. Like, no, nah, cockroaches are the worst, man. Like, but you the are worst. saying cockroach. Cockroach. So cockroach. we do say Yeah, I do, yeah. Cockroach. Or is it because Cock- we're Korean? Because <laughs> Koreans always add extra syllables to words, like, mosukito. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, they love... <laughs> no, but <laughs> why did I... Uh, why did I even... I, I sh- no one says cockroaches. They just say roaches. I don't know why I added yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just want to say cock. That's yeah, yeah. what... <laughs> cockroaches. But, man, roaches are another hard thing to, like, get, get rid, rid of. of. They're really hard. The, the s- the worst part is when you see the babies. When you see the small ones, then know. you know there's an infestation, bro. I know. That's terrible. When I was living in Queens, um, I remember going to the bathroom late at night. I had to brush my teeth. There was a cockroach this big on the bristles of my toothbrush. <laughs> just chilling there. Yo, cockroaches. And it's they're, they're funny, disgusting because when you step on it, like they actually... You know, yeah. like they splat, there's yeah. a crunch to it's it. It's a very cartoony splatter. It's a very cartoony yeah, yeah. splatter. Yeah, like their body looks like a no, fucking... I can't do that. Like oh, that. They yo. fly. No, they about don't. Spiders? Yeah, they cockroaches fly? jump. There. Cockroaches they fly? Cockroaches be flying, yeah. How about fly. spiders? Spi- I, I have a okay spider phobia. Cool spiders? I'm a cool with some spiders. <laughs> what? What'd you say? I, I'm a cool, I, I'm a cool with spiders? <laughs> what did you just say right now? I, okay, I like spiders because I think they're kind of cute. Like, they're, like, funny, you know? Like, they have so many legs. They're funny? They have so many eyes. They're so, like, curious. <laughs> Wait, why are you, like, yeah. enamored right now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't have a crush. Yeah. Their eyes. <laughs> I don't know like as friends you know as kids you're like you know when you're lonely and you're like stuck at home sometimes you play with bugs and you know I play- <laughs> Wait, is that a Brazil thing like I don't <laughs> yeah. understand Wait, you guys never did this what play with bugs yeah roly polies that's it <laughs> you know no, that's true roly polies I used to play roly polies no, let's go that was go. really fun too honestly now I think but- back like that was kind of like animal abuse yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's like- I, it is mad roly polies is trying to head somewhere you're just like <laughs> back you go this way just rolling back <laughs> It's like fucked up, it's bro. Fucked up, dude. Yo, you ever do like a, a magnifying glass or like salt on a yeah. snail and shit like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I messed with a little couple of snails and, and like ants. I did yeah. too. I've never tried. And I feel to bad salt. now because I was like, I feel come bad on, too. Dude. you can't yeah. help but like you have to. You you have nothing else to play with. Mm-hmm. You know, so you like. I had a Nintendo. Them. I don't know about you. <laughs> I wanted to like feed them. I would like put all my little bugs. You know, if you get the ants and you get like the cockroach and mm-hmm. the, everything, and put them in a little bag and see who like fights it out. <laughs> what? So you have I never did that. Really? Did you really do that? Yeah, I used to. I okay, a this, bug is a, battle this is a fucked up thing. Is like Talk I would me. take. We had a lot of daddy long legs at home. Mm, daddy so, long legs are cute as shit. Let's be real. And the real. name, come on, daddy come on. long legs, <laughs> like so cute. Yo. she was like daddy long legs. Yeah, I was like daddy. Because it's a little dot with legs. You know what I mean? Daddy yeah. long legs is fine. They're like, safe. Not you play with Were you a tomboy or what? <laughs> I don't know how to. I think I. Yeah, I probably was. I don't know if I named myself a tomboy. Yeah. Or, or were like, you just I like a nerdy girl? Aware. I was probably both. I was really into like thinking I was into sport. Yes, I think that I wanted to be a bit boyish because there was like that's how I grew up in the household. Yeah, like that. I thought that that was like what was you know my call co- like my calling in a way. Your calling <laughs> was to be like because yeah, like, my man calling in the was house. to be a man. But okay, <laughs> if you're like kind of like the 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 caretaker in the house, 
with a bunch of women. I'm the oldest one. Mm. I'm fixing. Like, it just happens naturally that I become kind of that way. Yeah. Not because I'm like, I'm a tomboy. I want to be like a boy. For sure. You know? You got to fill the void. Yeah, I fill that space of yeah. like fixing. I put in a whole ass toilet in the house before. Shut the... F no. You They'd install be pre the toilet? YouTube, pre YouTube. Yeah, I've installed toilets. Wait, wait. How do you... I don't even know how to even do that. You like, changed yeah. the toilet like the old I, one too. <laughs> I threw the old toilet out. Yeah. I went to the Home Depot. I asked a man there, like, how do you put in a toilet? My mom did not want any men in the house because she, like, didn't like dudes. Yeah, fuck them. So, yeah, fuck them, right? <laughs> That's where I get that okay. from. Okay. And so um, she, he told me how to do it. And so I, I was like, he, he made it sound super easy. Yeah. I bought a toilet for a hundred bucks. I went back home and it is actually very, you put the caulking on the floor mm. after you take oh, the Oh, you even did the caulking on the edges? Yeah, yeah wow. it's easy Jeez. though. It's, it's not that hard. And then you get the toilet, you put that shit on top. To like connect the pipe. Yeah, and then you unscrew the pipe and then put it together. I've done some weird shit. Remember wow. that house? I, I fixed the our heater in that house. Remember when- Yeah, you did. I, well, we went to like a Big Bear thing. And yeah. There was a cabin and- it was fucking freezing because the heater wasn't working, and we yeah. and we were trying to figure it out Every for hours. Every guy went on there and trying then, to fix it. Yeah, and we couldn't. And then she went in there. Over I here. Went she in went there. in there and she figured it out. No YouTube, because at my house I had to learn how to fix the the water heater at my home. Yeah. So I, like when I went, I was like, I know there's a pilot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I knew I need just need a lighter. Damn. That was it. But it's not that hard as it seems. That's the thing. We give too much credit to these people that can do this shit. Mm. It's actually pretty easy. It's just annoying. Yeah. I. I'm I'm a I don't like Oh, we know. <laughs> we know. Oh, oh, we, you don't even need to finish yeah, I, I that. Remember, thought. Like, I remember like I like buy stuff and furniture that needs to be assembled. I call Rick like, "Yo, uh, did you eat? Did you eat? Yeah, did, did you, you eat? eat? Yeah, did you eat? He comes and it's like, "Yo, did before we go eat? eat, how about we assemble this?" And it's like and I'm like, "Let's make a game out of it. You assemble that, I assemble this and let's see who could beat each other first." Yeah, yeah, man, it's just crazy. Uh, but you like that stuff. I do. I do. do. You, I mean, do you genuinely <clears throat> really like it? You always pull up to the homies' crib and you like love. You know, you'll, you'll help clean and also. But do you do you like it or does it? No, I do like it. I don't like the activity of it. I like the idea of setting it up, though. Like what do you for mean? the so more than the turning yeah. and you know the uh, actual one step activity, at a time. It's like. My boy's gonna have monitor uh, stands. You know, it's like the idea of it oh, being completed for them. That's but, nice. you know, it's, the process is still tedious, right? It's tedious, but you made the game really fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I forgot that I was actually working. I did that with these chairs. When Come I got on. four of these chairs, oh you have to assemble these chairs. And yeah. me and Rec were, I was like, we made a game out of it. <laughs> and he actually beat me. I was surprised. Yeah. Rec assembled it fast. Like, I was like, Shit, fuck. No. I, it actually really bothered me. So we played round two with two other chairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the yeah. round two was just to get the other two <laughs> done, bro. What do you mean? That's true. <laughs> That is true. But oh, I mean, I, I'm always like, I just rather just pay a little more for like, uh, like task rabbit or something just to do it. When you have you ever ridden a two wheel bicycle before back in the day? A bike? I remember mm. my I, this was a distinct memory. Mm. My dad bought uh, a bike with training wheels to teach me. Mm -hmm. And we went to the parking lot. He's trying to teach me how to ride a bike. I kept falling. He got, training wheels. He got, he got frustrated, fuck? and then we never rode again together. Oh man! That fool gave up on me. Oh my! God. My dad straight gave up on me on the first day <laughs> Yo, of bike riding. That's fucked up. I was man. like, "That's it." <laughs> like, to stick with stick with me. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. and it was it. That was. Oh, it. I just remember God. that he was just frustrated. He rode the bike back home. <laughs> Left That's you there. Fucked up, that man. shit was sad. Yeah. No, because no, I was so asking, funny. like, you know, sometimes the chain comes off the bike and stuff like that. You ever fix that? You ever get your hands dirty and put the chain back onto the gear? You see, that's come on. I, I have, but I'm just saying it's those are yeah, I'm a very helpless man. <laughs> like uh, uh, wait, hold on. I've never traveled alone. Oh. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm always like I go to a different city, I'm always with somebody where yeah, there's a yeah, host. Yeah. I mean, I travel alone, like the process uh, yeah, 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 get, yeah. but I'm saying like I haven't never gone to like a foreign country alone mm. and roam the streets like, you know, eat, pray, love or something right, like I have, right. you know what I mean? I, I'd love to. Yeah. I feel like I would learn a lot about myself, but I mean, could you, have you done that? I haven't, I always have somewhere, like I have a friend in the city yeah. or something. I haven't actually done it myself and I told myself I was going to do it this year, but I've made up so many excuses for not doing this thing and I don't know why. It's probably scared. Like, but why? I don't know. Like I internally, in an unconscious manner, like I'm like, or it must be in the unconscious of space. Yeah. But like I'm like, why? In do my I head, I'm why? scared. I'm scared. You know, you're scared because like, 
I don't know why I should of? be scared. It's like I've always had some way to navigate, but I'm, I don't know why I'm scared of not knowing how to navigate stuff. You know, right, what I mean? you right, right. To get right. to, to like well, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm not scared. I'm lazy. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's like what it is. is. I it's not. It's I was lazy. like, I don't think it's fear. Yeah, it's like when I get there. Right. I'm usually not good at like going up to a stranger and asking like stuff for, for bro things. you don't ask for refills at a restaurant man yeah you, like you never directly he's like rick you'll ask for more water <laughs> you've never directly asked anybody. i feel like weird like i just don't like because you know what them? it is i hate when people ask me for shit. Oh, like, ask me shit, like a stranger person like how <laughs> like i'm eating and you know like that one guy i hate this by the way when you're eating something and and like someone goes up to you like what is that like because they're gonna order it <laughs> Like, yeah. What is that shit? Oh, like, you don't like that? I hate that shit. <laughs> Wait, I hate that shit. Go, go order it. Make a mistake. It's trial and error. Figure yeah, it out. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm eating. It's like, ooh, what is that? That looks good. I want to order that. What is that again? <laughs> An inferior. It's a rotisserie <laughs> chicken. Fuck off. You know what I mean? Like, God I damn. just hate. I, like, let me. Yeah. I, I don't. What? You're hovering over my food? <laughs> Asking what I'm eating? Well, really? I like to offer it. Someone asks me, I'm like, oh, have a piece. You're never going to finish that basket of fries. You're crazy. <laughs> what That's the fuck is crazy? What you mean? offer them. Yeah. So if someone's walking by your table, yeah. like, at, yes. like I'm there, and I'm like, oh yes. my God, what what is that? Yeah. You'll be like, here? Yes. Okay. So, yes. Okay. <laughs> let me tell you, like, um, last month I went to this, like, Taiwanese place with my mm -hmm. friend Peter, and then we got this, like, we we were trying to be healthy so we didn't order like the big pork thing that we wanted and the the people next to us ordered it yeah. and i was like wow that looks really good and we had ordered everything that was wrong on the, like we got yeah. the sh you know when you're trying to eat healthy and you get the shit and you're like fuck and then you're like jealous of the person next so i told them and they're like do you want a piece and i was like no i couldn't take it yeah. they gave me a piece of their pork and like the bow like you know like they gave me one of those little bows the the bread yeah 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 they offered a bread to me and i took it and it felt good uh, that's felt a little too much to I, no no it felt I, good i i'm very like if i invite you for dinner and you like brought like a plus one yeah I, I will be furious. No, I will be on. absolutely furious. Oh come on! Actually, when sometimes Why? I invite somebody for dinner and they ask to bring one person, I'm already furious there. <laughs> Even if I turn it down, it'd be like, nah, I just want to keep it. You know, yeah. I still get furious. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But why? What? What is it? That I you just don't. don't like? I don't. I like to keep it very he envisions inside. this ecosystem. It's like it's like okay, this is it. We have this many people. We could talk about these things. Uh, like you know the flow when you have a familiarity with somebody. Yeah. You know how that's gonna go. Yeah, you have that extra wild card into the dinner. Come on, dude. It can fuck up the whole yeah, flow yeah. of the dinner. I was guilty of that back in the day. Man. I used to I would fucking always, hate yeah, yeah. when friends would bring an extra I'd do person. I plus three and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, so going back to the 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 person who asks, like, oh, what is that like yeah. about the food? my so my friend i went to we went to go eat and we're waiting in line to order the food and there's tables around right mm. and he was the one who was asking the other person about like what they were eating yeah but he asked like two more two too many <laughs> two too many questions yeah, yeah, yeah. so he was like yeah, yeah, oh what yeah. is that yeah yeah oh and and what's that thing on the side uh -huh. like he i was like yo chill like Sauteed? i got <laughs> yeah yeah i got it was insane bro i was wanted. like are you out of your fucking mind <laughs> Who asked three God, questions damn. about the food, bro? Yeah, yeah. Don't travel. Crazy. Yeah. You're, basically, don't travel you're basically alone. begging for it, right? <laughs> at that point, you're at that point, pull up a chair, bro. <laughs> pull up a fucking chair. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that oh. was maniac but behavior. Like the um, in America, I just feel like they or, like the food, the amount of food that comes in, like a you know, you go to Cheesecake Factory, yeah. and it's like fucking huge. Don't you sometimes wish you could share it with somebody else? Like that, I guess so. I guess maybe it's just not in the culture of it, but you're right. But maybe like, you should be able to, I guess. Maybe yeah. there should be an app where we all order <laughs> from like the two tables next to you. And yeah. then if you want to split it, you can split it. And restaurants are going to hate that shit. I, I guarantee yeah. you right there. I guess yeah. that's true. I mean, we are very themselves. wasteful. I, I wonder if they do that in other uh, countries. countries right? If there's an element of like, nah, everyone kind of keeps it to their own table. Yeah, right? There's no like... Know? I don't yeah. think it's but like why, that. But like, if we just did Asian style, it's not like we're picking at it. So we, you know, if we just pass it around and we're like, "Hey," you I've want... never been a fan of the like 
even you know when there's like meetups um like for instance the korea town run club right yeah. and there's like every every week like 50 people meet up and then we stretch yeah and then the 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 moderator of the thing is like now everybody look to your left and right mm -hmm. uh -huh. find somebody you don't know and you know give them a high oh, five I yeah like yeah that i hate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> i hate it you know, even at church. Yo, or whatever. I love that part. Church meetings, oh. conferences. Yeah, yeah. Look to your left, look to your right. <laughs> find somebody you don't know and introduce. Oh, I hate that. Yo, so God, I hate it with all my soul. Are you the guy at church that just looks forward? That doesn't. You're like, no. <laughs> I love that shit. Man. I just kind of like. I just gotta yeah. give him the hand. <laughs> Hey. Oh, yeah, hey. You basically don't want to interact with humans. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe it's something. It's, I know it's me. Yeah. I know it's me. It's not nobody's fault. Yeah. But God, it just makes me feel so. <laughs> I just can't, I hate it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's look oh to our left God. and right right now. <laughs> hey, hey, could you put the AC on? How you doing? Yeah, it's a little hot. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I. I <laughs> I know it's such a ridiculous thing huh. and I, I just and I don't even consider myself necessarily a shy person yeah but <laughs> just I don't know Jesus. but how about like d during the pandemic you know because we were so like you know recluse and we didn't get to connect with people you didn't kind of want to like be closer to people branch out a little branch bit. out and like yeah nah. hang out I, I do like it once I, I think this is all that thing it's like you're right like once the ice is broken mm. it's more comfortable to you know have mm. a group and we're all socializing but, but i'm not, not doing the ice breaking handshake yeah. thing do you think you're at that age right now where it's like we don't need new friends we don't need <gasps> we don't no, need, I need new. i mean it's, new it's the process you know of just getting to know somebody it getting is hard. disappointed I don't know. <laughs> nah, because you know what they say, like, like, people, more, yeah, but people say no new friends, but like dudes will meet new girls all the time. Yeah, they, or they'll want to meet new girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yo, they'll find they'll want to find like somebody they can get intimate with, but they'll never want to like make a new friend, which is like kind of. Yeah. I think that's not a good way to think. True, because you can't have girlfriends and you know a, a guy more guy friends too. Yeah, um, but I do have to step out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. to do that and as you get older you're right i think that happens right yeah it's just kind of like does that know, happen for you too i got my circle you know i got my circle it, people i don't know even working as a major d just you kind of have to have this like semi relationship with the people that's coming in it's just it's exhausting sometimes man yeah. you know you kind of remember little things about them and shit not having no new friends doesn't necessarily mean you're not going to have new experiences you can have new experiences with your friends I do tell your your circle. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, I didn't have a do tell yeah. tone, did I? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the pink sleeves. You could have like... experiences yeah, yeah. <laughs> with other people. Yeah, I mean, I I just feel like yeah, I, I definitely want to have some new friends too. Yeah, right. We? <laughs> right. Wait, should, should we make a build a friend? Like, what would make a good friend to you? Ooh, what would make a yeah? Right good, now, I... who? What kind of friend do you need in your life right now? Someone who could drive me to the airport. No, no, no. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. I'm see. Uh, a good friend? I think I would say I think Rick is a good friend. Wow. Okay, we're talking about new friends. You guys are already friends. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying oh, like. Oh, like he want, you want another friend yeah, like Rick? Yeah, I, I like it without all of Rick's imperfections. <laughs> There's a, you know, there. <laughs> There's a couple yeah, yeah. things Rick yeah, sucks at. But he, overall, he is a good friend. Like putting furniture together. Someone that puts you that for part him. we can keep. <laughs> <laughs> he loves acts of service. You know what he I mean. He does. So no, it's not just of... acts of service. Yeah. I, I feel. Um, I I feel like you're very it, it therapeutic. Like I could ask you for advice too. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I could ask him for advice. About and, what? But every time what he gives, we, every time he gives good advice, I'm yeah. like, how come you don't apply that to your life? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> you give great advice. Don't apply any of it to your no. life. That's we, the truth, though. Like people. Yeah that don't apply to they give great advice <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it's actually it's like, true you know what i mean it's like you yeah. know like uh uh teachers um or, or people that are trying to mold kids but yeah. they didn't really do it themselves yeah but they're like yeah man this is, this is how you gotta it's do true. it you know yeah yeah it's i have weird friends like, like that. that who give the best relationship advice but they're like yeah they're never in a relationship Divorce four times <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah like they're just so bad yeah, oh man. i i i um I, you know what i'm getting i don't get life coaches that are like in the early 20s or some shit yeah 
you know what the fuck do you know bro? yeah life coaches you know yeah, what yeah. i mean like <laughs> it's a weird job a life it is coach a, it's kind of like a I mean, when you get to that point where you have to get a life coach, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think it could be a bad thing. It's yeah. not bad to hear motivation. Wait, wait, what do constantly. life coaches do? They just motivate. They're like, they're like a Tim Rod. How do you train to be a life coach? Is there like a process? <laughs> it just depends on the program. Like it depends. So I've actually gone to a few life coaches. Yeah. So do they have, have a whistle? Like, what, how does it work? No, they basically like help you plan what you, it's like if you have goals in life, mm. like say you want to get married or you want like maybe it's not usually like or like so you want to um experience something like i don't want like for me like i wanted to travel by myself they'll help you like plan that out oh, and wow. how to get there rick would be a great assistant life coach <laughs> yo yeah <laughs> that's a great fucking job right there yeah you, i actually think you'd be good at it nah man. well you i think you know because you come from the the ministry world yeah. like mm. preaching and stuff like if you applied that somehow to some other thing i think it'd be cool shit dude are you good with kids i love kids I love kids. That's true. You are. You remember yeah. with my niece. Come you on, like, bro. yeah. He got jealous, man. Oh, yeah, I man. remember that. Yeah. The kid liked him way more than you. He yeah. nudged her at the end. Yeah. No, I mean, no, and it's like, like, what the fuck? My niece crying on the way out of Thanksgiving dinner because you, yeah. you were guys playing the whole time. Yeah, yeah. And, and she was like, <laughs> I don't I want to play with Uncle Rick more. Like, I'm like, bitch, you met him like two hours ago. <laughs> he got mad. I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. I was all mad because like, you know, uh, my niece always like the ongoing me. joke of this. My niece like yeah, saying she yeah. hates me, <laughs> Uncle Stranger. Yeah, I like yeah. how you think it's a joke. <laughs> Damn, it's a joke. She'll love me later <laughs> on. <you know? laughs> uh, yeah. Um, should we take some calls. Yeah, let's take a let's take a calls in the last fifteen. I don't want this long last longer than an uh, hour. Let's take some calls, guys. Hit us up on the Discord. We want to talk to you. Any thoughts you guys have on anything we talked about? Um, if you agree with some things that I hate, which seems to be an <laughs> ongoing theme of every episode. Dumb, did you really watch two movies back to back by yourself? I did, but movies alone are easier to do if you're. Oh, I actually did travel alone, which was New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. But that's not, but you but that's not like scary. It's just like I'm working. It's downtime. Right. You know what I mean. Right. So uh, that's what it was. Nice. All right, let's take the first call. Little Mousetron. Little Mousetron was good. Hi. Little Mouse. Tron. All right, let's take the next call. We can come back to Little Mouse. We got okay. some new callers. Yeah, I know. All these take are... 177. Take 177. What's good? What up? If it was pocket dialed us or what? <laughs> hey. 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 Hey, what's up, bro? Can you hear us? Hey, what's going on, man? I, I'm a I'm checking in from Maryland. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> what's up? What's up, Rick? I've been a fan of you since 2006. Whoa, Damn. that's, that's, a, long that's ass a long time. That's a long time. Is that when he released the gift? Oh, dude, I copped your uh, entrance, entrance. Wow. Oh, I love that. Um, yeah, Yo. you came to our uh, university. Was it UMCP or BC? UMCP. Come on, bro. Nice. That's Our, a long yeah. time. What's on your mind, bro? Hey, I just wanted to. Uh, this this is my first time calling. Um, I wanted to let you know I go I go out to LA every year because uh, my wife's folks are there. Mm. And uh, actually, uh, I celebrated our ten year anniversary at Inner Crew. Woo! Nice. Yeah. Nice, yeah. bro. So, wait, wait, wait. When did you stop by? uh july july 7th is our 10 year got you congratulations man so, and, and my birthday nice congrats oh, yeah. bro I got married on my birthday so uh i was i was <laughs> hoping maybe i catch you there but you weren't there that day yeah but, uh, yeah i took oh. a little break i'm working on music again right now so yeah i'm sorry that i missed you bro but we're july babies my, my birthday's coming up too in a few days all right what's on your mind bro <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> Hey, sorry, Doc. <laughs> I know no. this is your show, but I uh, just wanted to give a uh, shout out to Rick. Um, his music really inspired me oh, to uh, nice. really turn to God uh, back then. Oh, um, man. Damn, just, your it's, music is great. Just kind of being Damn. able to have accessibility like this to, to talk to you as a fan. So. No, that's beautiful. Thanks for that's calling dope, in, man. Bro. I appreciate yeah. that, bro. Appreciate it. Congratulations that. on your uh, 10 years. That's no joke. 
Hell yeah. Thank Congrats, you. bro. Also, Sorry for I'm being an asshole. Uh, you're the <laughs> He's like, your music put me to God. I'm like, wrap it up, fam. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. How often you, do you one. hear that, that they it, they turn to Christ because of your that. music? Uh, I hear it a few times. Wow. But, you know, there's other people that's like, like what he said. He's like, yeah, back then. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know? I think a lot of people nah, are leaving, the, not as religious. It doesn't matter. Though. All that shit's timeless, you know. That's uh, insane. Timeless. No, thank you. Thank you so wow. much, man. Um, Sofer, thanks for calling in, bro. Uh, let's talk to Sofer real quick. Chauffeur, maybe. <laughs> let's let's guess how you say that. Zofer, I think. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Hi. man? What's, what's up, Bexo? Can you hear me? Yeah, we could hear you. Yo, big fan of you, uh, Dom and Rick. Woo! <laughs> and also, wow. shout out to Steffi. Uh, yeah. Virgo, so you're not so a fan seven. of me, but he gave you just the sh a shout out. Well, maybe he's talking about the music, you know. Fine. Maybe you should make. Some Maybe music. I should make some music. Yeah, what kind of music? So what kind of music would you make if you made music? I would make experimental jazz. With <laughs> yeah, I, I could see, see that. that. <laughs> I could see that. Definitely could see that. All right. Well. Yeah. Bugs coming. life. <laughs> What's good, bro? Hello, Zofer. You there? Yo, can yep. you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Hear What's you. on your mind, buddy? Nah, I was just gonna say, uh, shout out to Dom and Rick. Yeah, I've been a big fan of your music. And um, shout out to Steffi too. Um, uh, <laughs> I like how you Virgo. <laughs> oh, you're nice. a Virgo? Okay. Hell yeah, bro. Where are you calling from? Um, yes. Also, minority check. <laughs> Do you want me to uh, guess where you're calling from? I know, I know. Minority report. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, where are you from again? Did you say? So I can't really hear you. Where are you from? I'm from New York. New uh, York. I think he sounds. He sounds Asian. Yeah, he does. I'm gonna say Filipino. Yeah, I'm gonna say Korean, bro. How about you, Dom? Yeah, I, I hear a Korean vibe. What 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 nationality are you, bro? Korean. Let's wow. go, bro. Nice, I you know guys. you know what it is. What Korean motherfuckers I call and never get right to the point. <laughs> God, I, I feel it. <laughs> I swear to God, never right to the point. It's like there's always a <laughs> oh, a lead up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm sorry. I, yeah, Yo, bro, they all call the people it. who listen to this pod, they, they, they fucking hate me. Nah, <laughs> dude. So fucking, they know. Uh, they I'm, know. I'm, I'm fucking with you. Um, yo, I appreciate that, though, man. Thanks for the nah, call. Thanks for the you. call. We're in New York. Uh, well, I was born in, like, Queens, mm. but I moved to uh, Long Island. Got you, got you. Yeah, I hear the Korean now, baby, for sure. Long thanks Island. for the call in, though, man. I appreciate you. Thanks for the support as well. Yes, sir. Let's talk to uh, Pizza602 Slut. Wow. You know what we got to do when we take these calls? We just got to let them know, like, we got to, like, What's your ask, question? We got to say the topic or the mm. question. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, it yeah. is. So, okay, what's your question? Because you know what? You know, like, you know, giving props and stuff, it's great. You know what you yeah. can do? You could just slide into Rex DMs. Uh, yeah, just do that. He'll yeah. respond. Yeah, <laughs> I will. Where are we at? Okay, move on to the next one. Just, let's just hear. Start. Yeah, I wanted to talk to the slut. <laughs> All right, Star Gummy. Star Gummy. Yo, can you guys hear me? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Hey, what's your question? Let's go. Let me turn it up real quick. Uh, I'm going to contribute to the conversation and then get to what I want to talk about, if that's cool with y'all. Yeah, yeah. There, we, <laughs> there we go. Now we're getting it. Um, Initiative. Okay. So in the beginning, Rick said he didn't have a childhood. So what do you mean by that, man? Uh huh. Whoa. No, 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 no. It's just, getting deep. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You said you didn't have a childhood? No, yeah, because earlier you're like, I can't really picture you as a kid. And I was oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't have a childhood. That is true, though, because I feel like, you know, a lot of us have shared, like, younger pictures. I, yeah. I haven't seen too many of your younger <laughs> yeah, pictures. Is, like, I'm like a pigeon, dude. You, can't, you don't know. <laughs> nah, it's just, you know, my, my parents, they were always at the cleaner, so my grandmother raised me. Oh. So it was a very yeah. old fashioned child. You know, like okay. upbringing. Yeah. Right? yeah, you know what I, I mean. Gotta, uh, yeah. yeah, Alex, take me out because uh, the sound is hella static. Oh yeah, is it the sound? Right. Nah, yeah, nah. I did. I, I did have a beautiful childhood, but you know, a lot of. Uh... Did you have to help around the house? Oh a lot? hell yeah! Yeah, you know what I mean. Installing toilets and. <laughs> <laughs> nah, with your but, grandma. Yeah, like, with my grandma. Did you grandma. help her uh, cook? cook for sure? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What is like something she made that you guys would make together that you still make? Kimchi. You know, oh, like yeah, large yeah, yeah. vats of kimchi. And ki my first bath, like as a kid, was mm. not in a bathtub. It was in the kimchi. Uh, Shut uh, up. Tub. I know what you're talking really? about. Yeah, yeah, the red one. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, okay, okay. 
got like red pepper flakes in my. D- <laughs> it was, in your pee hole? Yeah, it was <laughs> not a good. It was not a good situation. But yeah, man, what's good? What's on your mind, baby? Oh, he popped out. Oh, he popped out. <laughs> All right, All right. Shivernet. <laughs> I love these names. Shivernet, what's up? Hello. What's Hi. good? What's up, though? Wait, first, Steffi, you never had your first bath in the kimchi talk thingy, like a like, big base. Kind of <laughs> Come thing. on, so you know yeah. what I'm talking about. I, I remember that. I had my first bath in that thing. I, yeah, but yeah. mine was like green, like a dark <laughs> green. green. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were <laughs> telling me you remember the color <laughs> of the bath? Because there's pictures. There's pictures. <laughs> or is it because it's so fragrant? I feel like you know all that Korean plastic... kids have like some baby picture of them in a big kimchi. Like... Oh, hell yeah. You know what yeah, that's true. You know that, that round, so, wide. Yep. Yeah, a little bit lower. Yeah, mine yeah. was. I was actually in the kimchi. You know, <laughs> you know the baby's marinating in that shit because the smell of kimchi once it's made in that plastic will never fade. 100%. No, no, no. You That's guys were cooking in that kimchi. No, you're sauce. right. You know, like even Tupperware, right? When yeah. you put kimchi in it, yeah, 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 yeah it's just kind of yeah. making me crave kimchi right now. Yeah. Oh my yeah, me god, too. that Something sounds cute. fire right now. Yeah. What, kimchi? Yeah, kimchi. We should, we should eat Korean barbecue tonight. Shit or right. not? I could tell you, Korea. Where are you calling from, baby? I'm um, from SoCal, OC. Oh, oh hell okay. yeah hell yeah all right zot zot <laughs> is that or that's irvine that, bro. yeah that's irvine what 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 is irvine zot zot yeah we're anteaters oh my God. and and i wanted to this... ask rick what is something from the east coast you would want to bring here like, like culturally or like, like is it something you just don't see on the west coast yeah that, yeah that's, that's, a, good that's a good question <laughs> man <laughs> my parents man oh. um let me see what what I want. Uh, I would say pizza for me. Ooh, New York, like New pizza. York pizza. No, really? Why? New York pizza is. It is like, delicious. It's different. Yeah. A chopped cheese. I'll take a chopped cheese. Over Maryland there. blue crabs, bro. Bring some oh. blue crabs over here. Really? Yeah, the crabs out here just kind of you know. In the old bay. The old bay. Yeah. Ooh. Damn, that's a good question. But you know what's crazy? Like, just everything's here too. You know, I don't think there's too many things out on the East Coast that. That we don't have. Probably mm. the energy. I kind of like the <laughs> East Coast. <laughs> I, like I like East Coast uh, people and energy a bit. Or like I appreciate the yeah. realness of it. Not, that's not all East Coast. I would not, say that's like New York. You right. know okay, I mean? The I New York energy New is crazy. Energy. Yeah. Well, you know, one thing I do <clears throat> wish is I wish we had all four seasons out here, bro. You know, I mean, I like the really? perfect I weather. Don't, people, I hear that all the time. Come I really on, don't care for the dude. four seasons. Like, <laughs> Really? <laughs> I'm cool with this weather every day, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, no. I like it, anyone it who grew up in SoCal likes the other seasons that aren't like spring or summer as a vacation it's like oh we got to experience yeah. snow. that was so like, fun let's play nah, snow. snow is tight for like two hours but, like <laughs> no one would want to live in that shit and, snow like, is cool for like two hours bro yeah, yeah. No I go on, SoCal. exactly i go on like a big bear trip to a yeah, cabin yeah. snow in snowball fight I'm over it. You're Two over hours. It. I'm done. I, I guess I'm romanticizing it now, but then you're right. When I do go back to the East Coast, I'm like, nah, fuck this. No, man. you know what's nice to be in a relationship with somebody during the the snow. Mm. It feels cozier and nice, and you have someone to be indoors with. Hell yeah! Like it, it feels sex. romantic. But that's what I mean when you have other seasons. So when you have winter and it's snowing, you enjoy that. F- from the inside <laughs> you know what i'm saying what the fuck yeah. you might look at an led screen on your window to show snow <laughs> fireplace you know ASMR. what i'm saying you might as well just do that right 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 um, nah, you how about right. the fashion though the snow fa- you get to wear some i i do i i will fits. say i do wish we had more yeah. like a reason to wear more layers because yeah. you can style yourself. That's a, a very good yeah. yeah, the fall, you know, out on the East the Coast. Fits. Come yeah. on, bro. When That's the turtlenecks true. pop out. We'd have better soup here too, I think. <laughs> soup? soup? Soup don't you think? I guess soup would hit a little harder in the in the, in the cold. Yeah, imagine. Come on, dude. Come on. Have you have you eaten a spoonful of broth <laughs> out in the snow? Oh wow. <laughs> like probably camping or something. Yeah, right? no no no, I have. That like, must hit crazy. Yeah, I, t- I told you guys before, like I used to make igloos, you know what I mean? <laughs> like it would snow so much in the East Coast that you would like pile it and up. You could actually go in? Hollow it out. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And then I would bring a little bouton, like a little gas grill and I make a ramen in there. Come on, Does bro. it hit different? It hits different. Oh, it man. hits different. It you see, I, don't, igloo, I can't even recall a time where I did that. Yeah? We, oh, we're talking about going to camp. We got to go. Yeah, yeah, we got to go. We got to go. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, well, thanks for calling. Thanks Shitter for calling, uh, Let's talk to Jalushi. Let's talk to two more calls. And then when uh, we got a lot of callers today, actually. We'll, we'll, we do. Let's, we have let's a lot. Let's take, let's let's take, take Jalushi. We... Let's take 
Hello, Jalushi. hello, how are you? Oh, who is Jalushi. this? Jalushi. How are you today? My name is Jalushi. Jalushi? Oh, oh wow. you got it right. Oh, wait, this accent is wow. Well, I like uh, it. What's happening? Let's try I, can to, you hear me? Yeah, we can. Let's try to guess uh, where you're calling from. Uh, what do you think his ethnicity is? I'm going to give you a quick sentence. The sentence is going to be, the soup hits different in cold weather. The soup hits different in cold weather. Whoa! Oh, wow. Wait, wait. Are you playing with us? Yeah, are you? What do you mean? Are you playing? Uh, no, it's an accent. No, the bro. soup weather. hits different in cold weather. Mm, he's calling from Melbourne. Um, Melbourne. Yeah, and I think he is Melbourne. I, I still think he's Asian. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I think he's. I think he's a Korean, Korean? Australian dude. Okay, ah. reveal yourself. What are you? You guys are. You guys are very close. But I live in Los Angeles. I live in Koreatown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We weren't close <laughs> at all. I, Who's I, this? I, live Korea, I live in the Vermont, actually. Oh, from Vermont. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You I, don't have to reveal huge, the apartment. I'm actually, really. I'm actually a huge fan of Dumbfounded and Rick and Steffi. Let's oh, go. Is this, is this Josh Pan? And and we've actually known each other for years. Is yeah, who is this? It's Josh, Josh Pan. Pan. You guys Yo, don't realize man. That we've known each other for years. What an asshole, Josh. Wow. Fucking, see, that's what I said. I, I knew he was playing it with did, it. It did sound see? like someone was doing a fake accent. No, for sure. Because there was yeah, no accent on. in the beginning, and then he went, weather. Yeah. <laughs> it's Josh. Dude, I heard man. it. What's up, Josh? So, actually, I actually do have a few questions. Um, <laughs> I have a, <laughs> ask, though. Go ahead. What's the question? I have a few questions. I Lately, I want to do a career change. So I'm thinking about um, this year, I'm really going to go hard. I want to go into modeling, acting, and I want to be a bartender too. So I was thinking, could the three of you be my mentors? <laughs> Damn. Uh, um, the answer immediately is no. Um, <laughs> what? But I wish you luck. <laughs> oh, shit. No, here's the thing. Like, not just Josh, like, he's a homie and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. If anybody asked me to be a mentor, yeah. the answer is no. I, I don't want to do it. Like, <laughs> you know? I wouldn't be a good mentor because I don't want to mentor. Right, right. Like, your heart won't be in it. <laughs> I think there will be a time where I will mentor, mm -hmm. but I don't want to do it right now. Right, right. I think right. there will be a time where, yeah, I've, I phased out of like me being 100% into the things that I'm doing or, or working on, and yeah. I'll have time like to mentor somebody. But I know <laughs> to, to call somebody mentor is a big thing. You know, right, I'm not going right. to take it lightly. Yeah. I, I don't even know my life. If I were to, if someone asked me to mentor them, I would, I would start caring too much. I would invest too much time <clears> on <throat> their career or their life mm. and then it would take away from mine and then i'd be like okay i don't know what i'm doing so well you, you know, know what, what I, oh, yeah go, go ahead no go ahead no, I, I was gonna say i would just probably like throw out some other names of homies like yo did you ask rick <laughs> yeah. You ask rick? Yeah, yeah yeah you should ask rick he's really yeah. good at shit like that <laughs> on the contrary i would love to be your mentor josh pan you know what i mean if you uh can, we, can you be our mentor with your acting career i'll help you read lines you know with auditioning tapes uh for the bartender job i'll help you with the mixology yeah and you know with the modeling i got you i'll do the contour and the cosmetics for you i would love to help you out on this uh i am honored with someone I, I am honored when somebody asks me to be their mentor because it i i've had a coffee meeting with some kid who's yeah. like rapping or whatever yeah and he was <laughs> asking me meeting with a kid. yeah he was just like yo can we grab coffee i want to pick your brain yeah and i was like okay like he's cool he's not annoying so <laughs> that's my only criteria like don't be annoying <laughs> right so i have coffee with this fool and you know he's i'm giving him advice about being an independent artist and all right. that and in the end it's like i want you to be my mentor and i was like sorry bro <laughs> 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 Time's up. It ends up. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, I told him, I, I, you know, I'll give you advice on anything like that, but I'm not like, well, yeah. I was like, what do you mean? Like, it's like a weird. <laughs> right, right. Don't make it weird, bro. You know? I, mean, <laughs> don't make, don't I don't think you weird. ever All like. Right, well, dumb. In 10 years, I'll ask you to be my mentor. Mm. And I will say no again. <laughs> <laughs> I can what? answer for you right now, you know. <laughs> For 10 what, years. What, just real quick, Josh, why the bartending position? Like, I don't understand. It's a little random uh, compared to the. Other I just, two. I just want to do different things because oh, okay. last night I realized uh, I don't have much time left. What do you mean? I think I know what he means. I'm I don't sorry. have much time left. Can't Josh. just say that like that. Yeah. All right. There is a wise man. Who said, like cryptic. Before you die, you have to try everything that you can. Hmm. Who said that? That doesn't even sound like a philosopher. That just sounds like no, the homie. I mean, the homie once was, said, you should do everything before you die. He was already famous. He was, a, he was a crackhead that was sitting yeah. on a bench in LA. Oh. And I walked over and I said, hey, I know you're a crackhead, but you're 40 years older than me. Is there anything that you would tell me yeah. today if I found out I was dying? And he said, yes. 
if wow, there's anything that. you can do in this life that you can risk without actually dying on the spot, you should do it wholeheartedly. Well, I think you're going to be that, fine with yeah, bartending. You're be fine. Well, thanks for calling, bro. Let's yeah, go to Merboy yeah. Tears. Let's go. Thank you. I don't even know if he's joking or not. <sighs> Merboy, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hi. Uh, Hi. I didn't expect to be next, so I was just, whoa, okay. Um, dumb, I wanted to say something. I meant to say this a while back, and I apologize for not saying it till now. Uh, I want to congratulate you, man, on playing Coachella. You know, now I'm looking at your Insta stories. You're working with Hollywood legend Sandra Oh. Sandra, I mean, I'm just so proud of you, man. When oh, you win, we all win. Thank you, man. You so know what? Man. I will tell you right now shit is hard mm. <laughs> like to make things happen yeah like because when i first came into the industry for anything i honestly thought like things like things were going well in the beginning it's like oh it's gonna be good you know yeah. what I mean? but man like jumping into acting like i booked my first uh, role the first month i got into acting years ago mm. and i was like this shit's gonna be easy was that detention uh power power oh and shit. then after <laughs> Yeah, I didn't book shit for years, and yeah. now, so, it, but it fucked with me because I booked one thing so early, right? And I thought that's how the shit's gonna go, right? And it was like, it <laughs> fucked up my whole <laughs> mindset on how things were gonna go, and it was I was completely wrong, right? Damn. But it's like an accumulation effect, and now you're like, fuck, you have so many things happening for you, and it has been happening. No, you I mean, know? You, you know the process, because you audition every week. Yeah. It's What happens is, like, you audition for mad shit. You don't get shit, like, out yeah. of hundreds of auditions. Yeah. You know how shitty it feels when you audition for stuff, and that thing that you audition for comes out, and it gets Emmy Awards, no, and all this shit. You're like, yeah. damn, Gosh. I could have. But you just can't think about it. You just got to keep it moving. You just got to keep yeah. doing you know, it. Keep it but yeah. after you, you sure. just keep auditioning, you get better, and then you get callbacks. And then you get the the annoying thing is once you start getting callbacks, you make it to the final three and you don't get it. Mm. And it happens over and oh, over yeah. again. Yeah, that's that almost annoying. hurts even more than the well, of course. That when, when you didn't even get the callback, yeah. you know? Yeah. But that is so trippy how I remember a few years back, you guys were talking about Sandra O's speech, how it was just like riveting, you know, at the gala. And now you fucking co-stars with it, man. The craziest thing is that in 2016, me and Sandra got an award. Trailblazers. For being trailblazers in the Asian community. Come on, baby. And I was there like, why am I getting a fucking award with Sandra <laughs> O, who's had like 20 years on top of my career? Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And but it was crazy that we got an award at that time, and then you know, and being in this movie with her and just seeing her work is like she's a fucking monster. She's a monster. Set. She's so fucking good. Stepped my shit up, Shh. and then I. It, but it also gave me confidence thinking about like seven years ago that I received an award with her. Like yeah. I was like, I got I gotta know that I am worthy of this. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, you are it, worthy, man. It made me like really regain some confidence in that, you know, because I think things can get discouraging for a lot of people. For and we sure. feel like we're not worthy enough. There's imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. But like we have to just remind ourselves we've done it before. Yeah. Sometimes that's why I sometimes pull up old like music videos or yeah. songs and I'm yeah. like, ooh, I fucking we've snapped on this, this shit. Yeah, you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. That's and then I'm like, how do I do that again? <laughs> you ever, you ever, you yeah, ever hear yeah. like something dope you did yeah. and you're like, yeah, yeah. fuck, I forgot how to do that. I can't even hit that rhythm anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah. yeah. Well, I appreciate that, Mar boy. Thank yeah, you. Hell you're yeah. Always, you're always oh, like a, very, well, uh, with that comment, yeah, I got to ask, should I, should I rock a I hate dumb tea at Head in the Clouds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should. That's yeah, funny. I mean, it's going to be funny until I see like five or ten people with it. And be like, okay, is there a I didn't print these. Like, what the fuck? Oh, man. Um, yeah, no, if, if we uh, if see you at the festival, come up and say hi. You know what I mean? I'd, I'd love to actually, definitely. I would love to meet all the callers yeah. here who uh, or listeners of the pod. Um, if you guys catch me. I think me. we'll all be there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'll, sure. I'll probably yeah. walk around and stuff, so pull up. Yeah. 100%. Live minority awesome. report. Can't wait. All right. Thanks, my boy. Appreciate Peace, it. Peace, my boy. Have a great one, guys. Yep. Uh, let's take two more. Mac Easy and Turtle Duck are just the usuals there. Oh, do we want to take new ones? What do you guys want to do? <laughs> ones you know let's take one new one and then go to yeah uh, ox yeah. journey obviously ox journey is that of new? of course i don't know yeah i would remember okay, let's do it. i would remember ox journey we could do little mouse tron too. <laughs> i think that was ready um what's up bro yep. yo what's good bro i actually went through your uh back catalog and uh found boom bat <laughs> oh shit yeah yeah <laughs> the song or the actual video series Boom bap, like the video series. Oh, so hell yeah, bro. You go. fuck with it? Was specifically the uh, Kimchi Chiga episode. 
Yo. I never heard somebody rap with so much passion about cooking. <laughs> like, you would think you were like rapping about like like, like cooking uh, crack on the stove or something like the way you're rapping about it. Right, right. your early mixtape. You yeah. If you were to bring back Boom Bap and do an episode with Steffi, what would you make? Oh shit, with Steffi, um, whatever she wants to eat. You know what I mean? What would you like to do? Like stroganoff. It has, Wait, to be, it has to be Korean. <laughs> yes. Oh, you know what I love? Um, Strong enough. You know what I like? A uh, raw crab, Korean raw crab. A Korean raw crab cold. is good. Korean raw crab is good, but it takes time to ferment a little bit. Yeah. So we can't. We'll make it, but it'll be like a two parter. But no, that's good. We got to do one. But this, if if we do a boom bat with Steph, she's gonna be doing the raps. You know what I mean? Multi syllabics. We'll 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 do the rap boom for the food. Two tack. Yo, thanks for uh, going down the <laughs> thanks for going down the line, man. That's a deep cut. I would sure. say I was a fan of those boom bap series you would make. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna let's try let's to bring that back. Let's, let's, try to bring that let's back. talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. It's an ox journey. Yo, bring thanks for calling back. in, though, buddy. Uh, Word. All right, keep it up, guys. Let's try to get some women. Uh, is, is Sandia Potato a woman? Maybe we can talk to some girls. Yeah, let's talk to some girls. Appreciate that. Damn, it's always nice when uh, Sandia people go to the catalog. Sandia Potato. Uh oh. Okay. <sighs> go to the next one then. Should we try Lil Mouse Tron? Yeah, Lil Mac Mouse Tron. He said Lil Mouse Tron is a girl. Hey, hey, Hi. can you hear me? Yeah. Wow, we hear you loud and clear. Oh geez, I'm so sorry. Like, I was trying so hard to get on here, it's and all good. Uh, good. Like, so don't nervous. be sorry. <laughs> yes. Don't ever be sorry, girl. <laughs> ever. Um, ever. So sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing you guys. Oh, no. No, I don't know what. Yeah. Yeah. Is that our side? I don't know. It's probably it probably. Well, is. what's up? What's up? Um. So sorry to like end the episode on such like a heavy topic, I but I've been listening to you. Uh, for a while now and i'm actually like a a korean adoptee oh wow! like i have white parents mm -hmm. um and in the past few years i gave birth to my son let's oh, go wow. congrats um and i feel like i have no idea what to do like how do i raise a korean child wow mm. oh wait so so you had a kid with a korean partner uh actually um my husband is half Jewish, half Chinese. Oh, got you. I got you. So, so uh, you're saying you're saying kind of like teaching him about his Korean side. Is that what you're kind of asking? Yeah, exactly. Like, do mm. I, like, I had a friend get him a little, um, what's it called? The uh, hanbok. Abacus. And oh yeah, yeah. Like, I try oh, to give him Korean. Like, he loves kimbap. But like, mm. I feel like if I celebrate like Chusak or something, is that like appropriation? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? No. I, I did notice that I guess like with Korean, because I have some Korean adoptee friends. We have yeah, Korean adoptee yeah, yeah. friends. I think because of maybe the lack of like being raised Korean, mm -hmm. they feel kind of like guilty or yeah. maybe uncomfortable like yeah. participating in Korean shit. But you don't have to feel that way at all. You know what I mean? Like you're, that's part of your culture. And, and also there isn't a proper way to raise somebody Korean. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? If anything, you shouldn't follow how Korean parents raise their kids to begin with. Like <laughs> it's shitty. Trust me. You could reinvent that wheel. Like you're, you're good. Um, because yeah, I, I think you should just raise them the way you want to. But yeah, I think food is a good, good way to, you know, yeah. keep that, within the culture you too. Gotta, it's, I think you need to wash them in a kimchi bin. <laughs> That's the first thing. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Get that Korean you gotta kimchi get that scent clove in the into them. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, but I, I also think it's like, I, I don't know. It's like, I, it seems like you're making an effort to, to teach the cultural yeah. side. Yeah. yeah. And even if it's not natural to you, yeah. Like you still make an effort, which I appreciate actually. That's that's cool. I think like just it, it takes. Yeah, I just bit. like I want to give him the opportunities that I felt like I didn't have right. growing up. Right. Like yeah. we even uh, we settled here in L.A. just because I didn't want him to be like the only Asian kid in school, like I was. Mm. Wow, oh, that's cool. That's yo. That's are a you making Korean friends? Is is she, are you asking her or yeah, her? Oh, sorry, yeah. I couldn't hear. Oh, I said, um, do you have any Korean friends? Um, a few, but like not in the area because I went to school. I'm from the East Coast. Right, right. Well, you know, your question about like, you know, how do I raise a child? I think before that, it, it comes to you. Like, you know, being adopted, I'm pretty sure there was like, you know, identity situations and stuff like that. 
teaching your kid that you, you're going to get the best of both worlds. He's Jewish, Chinese, Korean, you know, he has a lot of different cultures. So just kind of like dabbling in it a little bit, you know, getting it's like a buffet. Give him a little taste of this, a little of that. I think he's just going to be a culture gentleman, man. Yeah. Food is yeah, a I hope so. I, yeah. I worry he's just not going to fit in anywhere, you know? Uh, just but, drop him off in K-Town for a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you figure it out. No, no. Um. I would say I, I I think him being around more Asian kids, he'll pick those things up. Yeah, yeah it's not naturally. all up to you. It's not yeah. just all up to you. Nah, you know for what sure. I mean? Yeah. I, I think uh, I I I, do, I think you're doing a good job, like making that effort and thinking about these things is is dope. Not yeah. everybody does, to no, be honest. Sure. I, I I've seen people who are Asian people who aren't even adopted, not fully, not fully. Exactly. Yeah, like yeah, there's like certain parents, Asian parents from an older generation that like wanted their kids to be way more assimilated with like uh, a yeah. white culture american culture For sure. you well, know what i mean they didn't allow them to speak korean at home you know yeah like that, that kind of shit yeah, yeah yeah so that's cool that like there's a new generation that what uh, like, what dialect what language are you going for because he has so many different uh yeah. like are you i mean obviously teaching um, him english but then I are mean, you gonna like i try to teach him a little bit of korean but like i didn't grow up speaking korean so right uh but my mother-in-law's doing the hebrew alphabet with him excellent wow that's excellent i mean you know what's crazy you can make it a team thing too like you guys could both learn at the same time mm. that'd be nice oh, yeah yeah there's a lot of good uh uh like a lot do, of good educational lingo. some call koreans the jewish of the asians yeah, yeah, come on bro <laughs> <laughs> i don't know <laughs> who the fuck <laughs> i don't know i'm just saying i don't know uh <laughs> But um, I mean that's great. Keep up the good work. I think you're, I think you're doing fine. You know, these are things that you just have to kind of navigate on your own, and you'll figure it out as as the how, the kid's still a baby right now or what? Uh, he's about two and a half now. Two and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still you know you're gonna figure it out more as it gets older and yeah. stuff. You know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, thanks for calling on. Thanks for I appreciate listening. Appreciate that. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Of Bye. course. Bye. -bye. All right. Let's take one last call. Let's you undo Turtle Duck. Let's do it. Uh, dude. Or let's let's just do one we haven't done. Let's do little mouse tron. We tried little mouse tron. Yeah, that, that was that little mouse. All right, Sandia Potato is she back? All right, All right let's just try turtle duck. Let's do turtle duck. Uh. <laughs> turtle duck. Turtle 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 duck. What the fuck? What the what the what the fuck? Quack, quack. Turtle duck. Turtle turtle duck. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most unintelligent. <laughs> yeah. Quack. Yeah. I almost okay. got tired of it too. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, maybe we should just retire that theme song. What's up, turtle? What up, turtle? Yo, I was like, man, quit teasing. I want to get on. Say it again. Wait, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, we could hear you. Uh, yeah, no, I was like, quit teasing. Just let me get on. <laughs> oh, quit teasing. Oh, the pod, on the pod. Oh, uh, okay. What's up? What's on your mind, bro? Um, I got a, I got a stupid question to ask. There's no such thing as a stupid question, my son. Especially <laughs> because we are a stupid show. It's just a <laughs> yeah, question. This is fun question. with dumb. What, what's your take on, um? uber drivers like playing music and them trying to gauge like what you listen to mm. Ugh, i hate being asked i what i want to listen to i, I hate just... that i agree with you Ooh, you got me excited because i agree <laughs> Wait, with you there what yeah you guys I get mad be... when the driver asks you annoying. what you guys want to listen to like yesterday they're like is the music okay he had it on power and i was like yes it's cool i don't like any interaction jesus ask me so my airpods yeah even if they're dead yeah, you put him I on. show that I'm putting him on just so he won't talk to me. Yo. But I make sure they yeah. see me putting it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the key. That's crazy. But it's also just annoying. Like, you know when you get into someone's car or someone gets into your car? I don't want to be asked what music. Just put mm. on your goddamn music. I don't want to DJ. I'm not a fucking DJ. Like, I don't want to be asked what music. Just make a choice like i have too many questions in life you right know? right so just make a choice make a choice like it's annoying like These restaurants guys don't like human interaction <laughs> no, no also just... if they're asking what music you want to listen to yeah, it's yeah. usually what station right and i'm not i don't really i'm not trying to listen to a radio station right, 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 right now right. Yeah, I'll listen to... <laughs> these guys hate human interaction like when you know when the uber comes and then he opens the window and calls your name out you get mad it's like are you john <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> yes i'm fucking john lock me up you, you know, should, it'd be cool, cool to like fuck with him with some like really like rare genre, you know, <laughs> yeah. postmodern <laughs> punk from <laughs> classical. You know, I love Ubers, especially during the pandemic when, you know, it was covered up. You didn't really even have contact with the driver. I like it when you step in and it's all set up for you. Like you have, you have like the little, uh, the phone charger situation. You have a little aux cord. 
You got some bottled water, some mints. I feel like a lot of people, when they get into an Uber, the the least interaction, the better. You know what I mean? The more silent. Do you want a partition? What's that? A partition? You know, dr you know the Beyonce part. You know, a, a limos where they have mm -hmm. a part. Drive around with the partition. They've been. I've been seeing a lot of Ubers the where they put the the wrap like a saran wrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. do like ubers that go od with Come the service on, though dude. yeah like you know the waters the yeah. mints the extra cords lights i'm like this is a camry i'm not mad you know <laughs> <laughs> like you really i'm not mad at went this. in and yeah. i appreciate that i do because then then when you have that you know how they always like splash a couple qr codes just you know tip and stuff like that you hook them up a little bit i do Poor i do like that shit. i i will say like you know because I use a lot of Uber and Postmates, those delivery service. I do have a lot of empathy mm. for them. <laughs> yeah. What? I have a lot of empathy. What do you mean? Meaning like, I if they, you know, like, I tip well. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel no, that, you feel bad. It's a, it's a tough, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a hard job because you have to deal. Because I used to be a guy complain, like complaining about shit. Uh. Yeah. So I know like they probably dealt with like 200 motherfuckers like me right. that week. You know, it's Dude, like the most heartbreaking videos are the ones where the Uber drivers are getting like hit from the back. You ever see that shit? That's fucked up. That's yeah. so crazy. That's a sucker punch to the no. max. Bro. There's just a lot of entitlement. Much. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm not going to lie. I've, I've, I've been guilty of that at yeah. certain times. Yeah. Too, and I have to like check myself. And now I have so much more like I, I understand that job. Nah, you know? for sure. For, for sure. sure. What's you, Uber you good, Turtle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you? Are you Uber driving? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing Uber. Let's on the side. go, That's bro. What's, up? what's your score right now? Uh, like four point nine seven. Wow, you would four point nine seven. Whoa, yeah. How'd you lose the other little I point know, three? Kind of disappointing, bro. A B plus. <laughs> you asked what music? That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that one time he yeah. had one hundred percent. You know what? From now on, every Uber ride, just have the fun with dumb podcasts playing, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it kills multiple birds with one stone. There you go. My guy, <laughs> dude. Thanks for calling in, though. All right, man. bro. Let's wrap it up. Thank you, everybody Bye. who tuned in today. We appreciate you guys. Yes, I sir. know sometimes I get a little grumpy with the calls, and <laughs> no, it's not it's you, good. it's me. It's As you can him. clearly see, it's me. <laughs> yeah. And I apologize. Um, <laughs> But I do, It's you know what it is? It's like, there's like 15, it's overwhelming. People. There's a lot of callers there and I yeah. do want to kind of get through everybody. Nah, you know what I'm sure. saying? So just understand, I'm just trying to keep it moving and talk to people, uh, try to get all the callers in. So 100%. Uh, thank you, Steffi. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank yes, you, man. Rick. Thank yes. you, Alex. Uh, if you see, uh, Steffi is plastered all over the city in multiple cities with the Hagen Dazs mm -hmm. ad. Everywhere. Everywhere. First of all, respect. Hagen Dazs? Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, okay. Favorite ice cream company of all it, time. Doesn't it seem like a fancy? Didn't you grow up thinking Hagen Dazs is like fancy? Any word that has two dots over the A? Come on, <laughs> yeah. you know, any, any looks like the reasonable well, if doubt. You, if you see any uh, billboards or ads, take a picture with it. Tag Steph yonder. Right? 100%. Do okay. you get free ice cream or? Do you know what? No. I don't know how it works. <laughs> yeah, the they should hook me she up. She got paid an ice cream. No. <laughs> I ate like 10 pints of ice cream. Was it day. vanilla? I got to tell you <laughs> No, you know it's never vanilla. Why? Favorite Hagen dazs you flavor. Know. Go. Vanilla. No. Coffee. It's that almond, you know, See, the bar nah, with the, the almond bar. Yeah, with that the bar is good. Oh, but but vanilla, about but it has yeah, vanilla yeah. inside, right? Yes, yeah. that shit. All, right. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in. See you next week for another episode of Fun With Dumb. Peace. Bye.